Hi, this is Drew from Trucks Produce on Mill Plane, and today I'm going to teach you how to make my famous guacamole. So with guacamole, I always start with the avocados first, of course start at the biggest base. I'm going to cut all of these in half, I got six avocados today, and we're going to remove the pits and we're going to scoop out the avocados into the bowl. And that'll be our first step. So it's easiest just to cut them in half, worry about moving the pit afterwards. And this is a pretty good amount of guacamole, so you'll even have leftovers. It's good for parties, events, and it's really tasty. Alright, I got all six cut in half. Now it's time just to remove the pit. Might have to wash your hands because it does get a little bit messy. Me, I'm just going to change my gloves. So that way I'm not getting the knife all dirty when I'm cutting my next ingredients. Okay, for my next step, I'm going to start with the tomatoes. I use grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes just because they have more of a zing, they're more juicy. And I usually do this step next because just like pitting the avocados, this one is time consuming. And I prefer to use a paring knife, it makes it easier, of course, if you're cutting something this small. And usually what I do is I kind of just cut them in half. You can cut them into small bits if you want and just kind of divide them up so that way it's like a nice pico inside of your guacamole. And like I said, these really bring out the flavor and you can kind of just add them into the bowl as you go. I'm going to do the red onion. I use red onions for guacamole just because it's going to give it a little bit more zing. If you don't like the zing, you can even use a yellow or a sweet onion. It's really up to you. But this is just my onion of choice for my guac. And you don't really need a lot of the onion. I'm going to show you. You usually end up with a lot of extra onion because all you really need is just one quarter and that usually covers it for the onion taste. You don't want the onion to overpower the other ingredients, but it does add a nice taste to the mix. And I dice it very thin so that way when it is all mashed up, you're just getting nice slivers of onion. You're not just getting huge chunks. Kind of like this, just very small, nice little pieces.
Almost diced. Oh, it's Next, I'm going to do my cilantro. I usually just use one smaller stock, or if it's a bigger stock, just use half the stock. Don't really need the stems, so we're just going to cut those off today. And just like the onions, I'm going to really get this diced up so that way it just blends nice with the guacamole. Once you feel you got it diced enough, you can add it in. And for the final step, this is going to be real simple. I usually just use one line. You can use half if you want, but using the whole one, this gives it that nice taste. This one's real easy. Just cut it in fourths and just squeeze it. Okay, now for the next step, we're going to mash it. it. Smells so good already. You can mash it as much as you want, just depending on how chunky you want it. very end you use salt to taste and usually I just use Himalayan pink salt you can use sea salt table salt whatever it may be I just like the taste of this salt and I usually just do a nice layer on top not too much but not too little the salt will help bring out the taste And that's looking good. This thing wasn't shooting out a lot of salt, so I had to do it longer. <laughs> and I got my mixing spoon. To give it that nice final mix with the salt and everything else. Still kind of mash it up so that way the salt actually gets in there.
looks amazing, smells amazing, probably going to taste amazing too. And you're going to end up with a lot of extra guacamole and a lot of happy people at your house. Thank you for watching. This is Drew for Mill Plane at Chuck's and this is my famous guacamole.